Diablo State Park was established in 1921, but the mountain has been important to humans for thousands of years. We're taught that there was a time of a great flood when everything in the world was covered with water, except for the two peaks of the mountain that's right behind us, Tuushtak. When the waters receded, our creator created the world as we know it today. But we're taught that we're supposed to tend to this, take care of it, steward it. This is our most sacred peak. Starting in the late 1700s, the Spanish and later Mexicans and Americans brutally forced native peoples off the lands around Mount Diablo and elsewhere. Disease and persecution almost wiped them out, along with their languages, religion, and culture of caring for the land. But some managed to survive, and their descendants still revere the mountain today. The first Oberlin immigrant party headed to Mount Diablo, they were, they were using newspaper accounts from Dr. John Marsh, the first American settler in Contra Costa County. In those accounts that he'd send back to, to newspapers in the East and the Midwest, he would describe how to get to the Bay Area across the Sierra. Well, well, this was ironic because Dr. John Marsh had never crossed the Sierra. In fact, no one but a few fur trappers and, and Native Americans had. The thing he got completely right was when you get across the Sierra, look for the double pyramid peak off in the west, and my ranch will be found at the base of Mount Diablo. So it was important in terms of guiding people. You can still see it from half of California, which is why it was chosen as the initial point for California's first baseline and meridian. If you own property in most of northern and central California, your property lines are based on those initial north-south meridian and east-west baselines from the peak of Mount Diablo. Mount Diablo is located right at this point between the Bay Area and the Central Valley between the coast and the delta. As the mountain rose and things disappeared from the area around it, it retained things that you normally associate with wetter Pacific Northwest climates to the north, then it retained things that you normally associate with the Mojave Desert to the south. And it's the northernmost location for coulter pines, which are generally found 200 miles south in Southern California. But it's also a, a center of endemism. You have plants that have evolved into new forms as they survived on Mount Diablo. The Mount Diablo Fairy Lantern is the most obvious example. So Mount Diablo is just an amazingly rich place. It's a reservoir of biodiversity and it's an incredibly interesting place as a result too.